What's up guys and gals, it is I once again, Mr. Gamer 990 and welcome back guys and gals to another, you know, reaction video in which yours truly will react to some awesome stuff, some of which, you know, relates to horror, horror stuff and the supernatural and whatever, but in this case, I'll be, you know, reacting to another one of the awesome work and OCs of my best friend, sister, family, and so many things she is to me, fellow Grey Warden, tagged team partner, fellow struggler, and so many other labels you could add to me and her, brother and sister, gangsters for life. But yeah, guys and gals, this awesome YouTuber, friend, family, sister, her name is Neftis, also known as Demon Foxhound, but her real name is Candice Bump. I fucking love Candice so goddamn much, I do sis, damn right. But today, guys and gals, we'll be reacting to the biography of Warden Constable Kathleen Maurice. Amel. This video, guys and gals, this bio uploaded on her second YouTube channel was deleted because I basically pointed out an issue with the audio of said video and she corrected it. That she did. And now, guys and gals, the official reaction video shall begin. So let's waste no more time and get straight to it. But great work, sis. Damn right. But yeah, guys and gals, let's begin, shall we? Hello everyone, um, so before I start on this video, I want to thank Mr. Gamer 990 um, my brother, not literally, but you know what I mean, um, my brother Yusuf, for letting me know that there was some audio issues in the last video, so this is the re-uploaded version. Alright, um, so without further ado, Let's get started. So I'm going to start with the basic information. Her full name is Kathleen Maurice Amel. The meaning behind her name Kathleen is pure. Her titles, Warden Constable, one third of the Queen's Magical Advisors, Lady Amel. Her personality, Sweet, aggressive, confident, protective. Sorry, I just want to add the uh, goddamn headset. Sorry about that, guys and gals, but yeah, I fucked up there. I know, fuck me. It's like, you know, some wrestling chat. You fucked up, you fucked up. But yeah, let's continue. Stubborn, dutiful, orderly, sociable, and modest. Her date of birth, October 14th, 905 Dragon. The timeline of her age, 18 to 20 from Dragon Age Origins to Awakening, 20 to 28 from Dragon Age Awakening to Dragon Age 2, 28 to 38 from Dragon Age 2 to Dragon Age Inquisition. Mm -hmm. Kathleen resides in Denrum Ferelden, Hightown Kirkwall, and she'll occasionally reside in Skyhold. Her trigger her triggers are depression and post traumatic stress disorder. Her love interest is Anders. Appearance her race human height five foot nine hair color blonde hair length long hmm. eye color brown Lip color, pale pink, skin, fair, tanned. Her armor, Warden Battle Mage armor, weapon, Winter's Breath, off-duty attire, navy blue gown, golden colored gown, and fern green gown. Her off-duty at-home attire is a Mel Finery. Abilities, Spirit Healer, Life Ward, Cleansing Aurora, Revival, and Group Heal, Primal, Earthquake, Stone Fist, Inferno, and Tempest, Creation, Heal, Regeneration, Mass rejuvenaza Rejuvenization, <laughs> sorry, Zero Offense, that and word. Taste, Spirit, Spell, Walking Bomb, Mind Blast, 
mana clash and dispel magic. Entropy is weakness, drain life, disorient, death hex, curse of morality, death cloud, and horror. <laughs> now, time to the family. Mother, Rebecca Amel. Father, unnamed father. Siblings, Alan Jaden Amel. Her twin brother and three unnamed younger siblings. Aunts, Bethan Walker Amel. Fuck. Uncles, Astrid Amel and Damien Amel. The detail. Grandparents, Faustian Amel, who's the grandfather. Mm-hmm. Cousins, Leandra Amel, once removed. Malcolm Hawk, once removed and deceased, as well as Leandra. Damn. Gamlin Amel, Mara Hartling, Chardes Amel, Hera Hawk, once removed, deceased. Garrett Hawk, once removed. Shit. Bethany Hawk, once removed. Carver Hawk, once removed. The details. All right, now time for the full biography. Smart. Kathleen Amell is the firstborn child of Rebecca Amell. At the age of five, Kathleen was sent off to the Ferelden Circle of Magi due to her magic. At the circle, Kathleen met two fellow mages, Celine and Caron, who quickly befriended them. This friendship continued throughout the years, even to this day. Mm. Later on, they met another mage named Jowen, who, t- who turned out to be a blood mage. Jowen. After the events of Lily and Jowen's attempted escape, yeah. Kathleen was taken into the Grey Wardens, being forced to leave Caron and Selene behind, though their friendship didn't f- stop there. Eventually, they reunited when... Kathleen, Chloe, Kuzland, Alistair, and Wynne returned to the Ferelden Circle to seek support of the mages to see that it had been overrun. Kathleen quickly became concerned for Selene and Caron, thinking they had been killed by one of the abominations. Thankfully, as Kathleen searched the tower, killing every abomination in sight, she reunited with Selene and Caron. The three best friends defeated the rest of the abominations and saved the tower. <laughs> the horrid sight of the mages she once knew turned into abominations and blood magic blood mages made her have a strong distaste for blood magic. Yeah. When the group returned to the Templars, Kathleen conscripted Selene and Caron. She also had the mage's support when facing the Archdemon. Although Selene and Caron were conscripted, Kathleen never turned them into a Grey Warden, in fear of them dying from the taint. Yeah. From that point forward, Caron and Selene continued to travel together. Mm-hmm. Together, alongside Cloette, Alistair, and the others, they successfully acquired assistance from the Redcliffe Castle, Mm -hmm. the Dalish, and Dwarves to fight the Archdemon. When they arrived at Redcliffe, they found that it was under attack by undead every night. Kathleen didn't want the village to suffer. So she and her companions agreed to help in their time of need. Mm-hmm. When they successfully pushed back the undead, she and Bantigan went to deal with yet another issue. The poisoning of Arl Eamon and the Arl, Arl son, Connor, being possessed by the demon. Mm-hmm. Bantigan gave Kathleen the ring which gives her access to the secret passage into the castle. When they reached to the dungeon, Kathleen found her former former friend Jowen locked in a cell. After a few minutes of Jowen explaining why he's locked up, Kathleen decided to leave him there. She had no interest in helping him again. When they reached Connor and dealt with the undead he unleashed within the castle, they came to the conclusion that they needed to deal with the demon controlling him. Isold had one of the guards fetch Jowen to come up with a solution. 
Jowen suggested suggested doing a blood ritual, that which works. required, which was quickly declined as Kathleen res- refused to do any sort of blood ma- blood magic, <laughs> especially after what Jowen. Alistair suggested back to the Circle of Magi to get more mages to go into the Fade and defeat the demon, which Kathleen agreed on. After Kathleen acquired the mages, she went into the Fade and defeated the desired demon. After after that, all that was left was Arthur and his sickness. After the success of gathering the Redcliffe troops to defeat the Archdemon, Kathleen went to the Dalish for their support, mm-hmm. only to find that that they had demon ish- issues of their own. A sickness sickness plagued them, as well as constant constant attacks from w- the werewolves. Yeah. Kathleen and Z- Keeper Zathrian came to the to an agreement. Zathrian. If Kathleen dealt with the werewolves, she would get the Dalish's support against the Blight. Mm. However, when Kathleen investigated the matter, she realized that Zathrian was the one who created the sickness and the werewolf curse. Fuck her. When Kathleen met the Lady of the Forest, she agreed to bring Zathrian to her so the situation could be resolved peacefully. Mm-hmm. Alas... This was proven to be unsuccessful, as Zathrian made Kathleen choose between him and the Lady of the Forest. Although she felt a small bit of pity, Kathleen sided with the Lady of the Forest, Mm -hmm. which Zathrian chose to fight her for the decision. Fuck him. After Zathrian was slain and the curse was gone, Kathleen made her way back to the Dalish camp to meet with the new keeper, Lyanna who agreed to help Kathleen against the Blight. Mm-hmm. In Orzmar, Kathleen found that it was, as expected, in the midst of chaos. Politics. They were bickering over a new king after the death of the former king, Endrin Adukin. Mm-hmm. Kathleen had, had to assist either Balin or Pyrrhal Harrimont to seize the throne. <laughs> which she si- she chose to side t- she chose to side with a ba- Balin Adukin to become the next king. Oh. In order for him to become oh. the next king, Kathleen had to fight in his honor within mm. the proving. Her next cla- task was to clear out the car- cardo that was causing trouble within Orzammar. The third and final task was she had to do was find the find Paragon Bronca to make it all official. Bronca. Before oh. Kathleen entered the deep roads, she met a, she was approached by a dwarf named Ogren. <laughs> Drunk Ogren. Who was he was looking into the whereabouts of Bronca and asked if he could come along. Of course. Which Kathleen accepted. Drunk After they Bastard. ventured into the deep roads, they found that Bronco was sacrificed her whole house to the Darkspawn in order to get to the Anvil of the Void. Shit. Yeah. Once they... After hearing both sides, when? Kathleen sided with Carradin. After the battle, Kathleen was given the crown, crafted by Carradin himself to give whomever, sh- whomever she chose Ooh. in the election. I love your language. When she got back to Orzammar, she gave the crown to Balin Adukin. With a new king on the throne, the Grey Warden successfully obtained another ally against the Darkspawn. Golf clap. As for the lands meet, Kathleen prepared to come face to face with the treacherous Logan Mectir. <laughs> Prior to the landsmead, Kathleen and her companions had had to save Queen Anora Mectir from Arahal, the same man who slaughtered Cloet's parents, sister-in-law, 
and nephew then stole her home. It was time for Kathleen to help her dear friend and fellow Grey Warden seek justice against yeah. the man. Kathleen had assistance from Nora's handmaiden, Alara. Guys, gals, fuck how. Fuck how to hell, that scumbag, piece of shit, motherfucker. Nathaniel Howe is awesome, but Arl Rendon Howe, fuck him, guys and gals, fuck him. Resume. They snuck into the estate and went into the dungeon undetected by the guards with their disguises sorry <laughs> disguises um yeah upon entering the dungeon they had met a fellow grey warden royden kathleen was informed that how 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 ca captured him when he how? royden <laughs> lost contact contact with the Feraldon Grey Wardens and went to Denrum to find out answers. What's that name? How? Once he was freed, Kathleen went back to fo focusing on her task, finding how and slaying him. Good. As she continued further within the dungeon, she found more innocent people captured. These people were Osiwan Sigyard of Dragon's Peak, Rexel, Soros, and Sir Emner Emmerich Aramon. She freed these men along with getting support against Logan in the Lance Meet. Fuck how. Honestly. After that, Kathleen and her companion went way to Howe, eventually slaying him for his treacherous crimes. Piece of shit. Along with the mage that had the magical barrier in front of Queen Honora's door, preventing her from escaping. When they returned to the Queen Honora, they began to make their way out of the estate. Only to have Logan's henchman, Cothrian, waiting for them alongside half a dozen guards. Yeah. Obviously, being outnumbered, Kathleen chose to surrender instead of killing her as that, as that would only make her, yeah. it would only give ammunition against Lo, uh, Lo, it would only give Logan more ammunition against her. True. Only Kathleen and Cloet were jailed at Fort Dracon. Uh huh. Dracon. At Fort Dracon, Kathleen faked an illness to get the guards to come inside. The guard to come inside the jail cell to see what the commotion was. Only to ambush him and kill him to get the key. Yeah. <laughs> Once free. They retrieved all their belongings from a nearby chest. The two would sneak through the fort, which led them to stumble across extra guard armor. They decided to use the armor as a disguise to get past the other guards. When they reached the colon colonial's office, which was guarded, guarded, it was required for them to tell them the password and to process proceed past the door. Eventually, they fooled two guards into following them, claiming that they were in a, that there was an inspection about to happen. Instead of leading them to the regulation swords, Kathleen and Cloette lead them to a disclosed location <laughs> and murdered them, Don't stealing the list of passwords. <laughs> when they returned to the colonial's office and gave the guards the correct password to the proceed, with their disguises, they were able to leave fort, leave the fort without bloodshed. When they returned to Eamon's estate, there was yet another matter to attend to in the alien, elven alienage. Anora suspected that her father, Logan, was up to something that involved the elves, and it was up to Kathleen to get to the bottom of it. Slavery. Quick pause, I need a drink. Yeah, drink up, sis. Drink up. Or Chug. God, I hate that name, but yeah, Chug. Within the alienage, Kathleen found out that there was an apparent plague going around and to Vinter Mages were keeping multiple elves within the host vice. Shiani, one of the elves, told Kathleen of her suspicions and the Tevinter and what she believed the Tevinter Mages' real motives were. Which Kathleen told her she would look into the matter. Vince. Kathleen went to confront the Tevinter mages, ending up picking a fight with them and slaughtering them. Fucking Vince. Kathleen picked up the key to the host spice and went inside the building. Fuck what she found was unnerving, as she found perfectly fine elves 
caged like wild animals. Yeah. Kathleen freed the trapped elves and returned to Shiani, where she informed Kathleen that there could be more elves that were captured in the apartments. Kathleen didn't hesitate on heading to the apartments to find the elves. Upon investigating the apartments, Kathleen and her companions found out the truth. There was no plague, and they were kidnapping elves to force them into slavery. <laughs> With this new information, Kathleen would be able to free the elves that were being held captive in the warehouse mm -hmm. not too far from the apartments. Kathleen slaughtered every Taventer yeah. mage and guard that was in her way from the elves. Fuck them, Vince. She then found the man responsible. It was a Tevinter blood mage named Calardius. The pitiful excuse of the man explained to her that it was Logan who allowed him to capture uh, the elves for slavery, pitiful which followed dance. in him trying to strike a bargain with Kathleen that involved blood magic. Kathleen harshly refused the deal, good. killing the man instead. Double good. With the Tevinter blood mage dead, Kathleen freed the remaining elves before leaving the warehouse. Kathleen gathered the slave papers from the Tevinter mage for evidence against mm -hmm. Loghain. Triple goods. Upon returning to Eamon's estate within Denrum, Kathleen brought all the information to Queen Anora and Eamon, along with her other companions. They were all disgusted with <laughs> what they found. Yeah. That a man like Logan would stoop that Disgust. low. And but was, oh, it was sorry. evident that Alistair. they needed to put an end to Logan's reign of terror. When the Archdemon was defeated, Cloet was promoted to Warden Commander of Ferelden and yeah. Queen of Ferelden. She ruled with Alistair. Kathleen was promoted to Warden Constable. Her nobility status was restored, and she was given the title of one-third of the Queen's magical advisors, along with Celine and Caron. Kathleen yes. continued to travel with, with Celine and Caron, dealing with their cousins, cousins during the time of Dragon Age 2. When she was in Kirkwall, she got Gamlin out of his addiction and had his nobility restored. I read that. During the ending of Dragon Age 2, when Anders blew up the Chantry, Kathleen also took him back to Denrum, where she managed to separate Anders and Justice and gave Justice to Kirkwall, as she stated that Justice was the one behind the bombing of the Chantry. Yeah, unfortunate. Years after the Civil War began in Kirkwall, Celine, Caron, and Kathleen were given instructions by Cloet Guzlin to be bodyguards for King Alistair to inspect the Inquisition Damn. and help them while Cloet dealt with the regular businesses of being queen. Yeah. Since then, they assisted the Inquisition. During Kathleen's time within the Inquisition, she found out that she had a twin brother. Excuse me, uh, for a moment. I had to be sure that the, uh, you know, face cam is on or the camera is still working, and it is, thank God. That was still alive, Alan Jaden Amell. She re reunited with him during this time, immediately having a good relationship after being awkward at first due to being caught off guard with this discovery. Mm -hmm. Kathleen also has a dog, Mabari Warhound, Sim? that she cured at Ostagar, and she named him Junos. Junos. Mm. So, that is the story of my OC, Kathleen ML. If you want to see the story behind Kathleen and Anders' relationship, which I will get into more detail, and or if you want to see hear the story of Alan, please let me know, or any of the other OCs that I have, like Alda Shepard, 
Fuck yeah, I do. I also have all of them. Caspar Loren, Caspar. the Templar. Oh, former Templar, actually. I love that name. I have. Caspar. Um, I would say Autumn, but I kind of already covered her. But Three I can parts. do Ember. I can do. Hmm. I can do Hera. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hera Hawk. Hera Hawk. But yeah, um. Or I could do Zuka, Zuka. Mariah Nelson, <laughs> you know, yeah. any of them. But if you want to see any of them Mariah. in a store, in a sort of video like this, please let me know in the comments down below. Yeah. And I also want to thank Mr. Gamer 990 oh. once again for letting me know about the audio issues. You're welcome. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. All that jazz, you you know what to do. Yeah, you no. you know what yeah, to do. I love her. All right, I'll see you all later in the next video. Bye. 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 God, I love you so much. I love her so much, guys and gals. She's fucking awesome. If you don't sub to her right now, I I'm sorry, but God help you. I mean, she is so fucking awesome, guys and gals. I love her. My God, she's so fucking awesome and just so adorable and just so kick-ass, you know? Yes, guys and gals, I'm, you know, gushing over her. She gushes over Adam Cole, Britt Baker, and so many awesome celebs, especially Elias. Elias is so damn. I'm lucky to have her as her, you know, biggest advocate, but I, guys and gals, gush over her. My sis, my awesome sis, who is so smart, so awesome, and just so goddamn cool. She is, guys and gals, and Kathleen Amel, Kathleen Maurice Amel, Warden Constable, Kathleen Maurice Amel is so goddamn cool. But thank you all so much for watching, and do check out Neftis' channel, and look forward to the other bios of her OCs, original characters, all the ones she mentioned, as I sure as hell am. I am looking forward to them, sis. I really am. And her work, her writing, her fanfics are worth reading, guys and gals. They are. But yeah, guys and gals, until next time, peace out.